So editing is probably the longest part about making videos, whether it's a client video or a YouTube video. Editing just takes such a long time because you're crafting a story. It's hard to do. And when I first started out making YouTube videos, it probably took me about maybe, oh, I don't know, eight to 12 hours editing a video, <laughs> it took a long time. But ever since editing on this computer and also using some tips and tricks that I learned along the way, I've actually been able to edit my videos in about four hours, give or take a few seconds. So I'm just gonna share some of my favorite tips and tricks that helps me edit my videos fast, as well as talk about this computer, the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15. This video is sponsored by Intel and Asus. We'll talk about this awesome computer in just a second, but let's just dive in into some of my favorite tips and tricks to edit videos fast or else your mattress is free. No, it's not, not free. All right, so you just wrapped filming. You're about to import your footage to your computer. What now? One of the first things that I do for any video project is organize all my media assets. So it's things like A-roll, your B-roll, sound effects, music, etc., etc. The more you organize your media assets, then the better off you'll be when it comes to the actual editing. You can organize your project however you want, but I like being meticulous with subfolders and placing all my media assets into those subfolders. It just helps me stay organized throughout the entire editing process. So I have this folder structure that I've created. Well, I've actually made a template, a YouTube project template with uh, with this folder over here and in this folder you see subfolders here you have an export folder that's where my exports go I have a media folder that's where all the media assets go and I have a project files folder that's where I place things like my Premiere Pro project file my Photoshop thumbnail file anything that's a project file goes into that folder so here in my media folder I have several subfolders where I have my audio my footage my graphics music and stills and in those folders I've broken it down even more so like in my footage folder. I have folders to put my A roll, my B roll, my product shots, etc, etc. This is how I organize my folder structure. You can organize it however you want. But the takeaway is that the more you organize, then the better off you're going to be when it comes to the actual editing. And once you're done importing and organizing all your media assets, just simply drag that media folder into a Premiere Pro project. Done. And here in the project panel, you'll see all your media assets organized. Now you can do this every time you open up a brand new Premiere Pro project, but there's a better way. For my YouTube videos, I've already created a template, a Premiere Pro YouTube template that has all my branded assets ready to go on my timeline. So here you see my lower third, you see my end screen, and in this timeline, you see all the other graphics that I would use in potential YouTube videos. This has saved me so much time because I don't have to rebuild those assets every time I open up a new Premiere Pro project. I can just open up this Premiere Pro YouTube template, import my media into this template, have all my branded assets laid out, so that I stay consistent with my videos and just start editing. It's a really great way to stay consistently organized and really helps jumpstart the editing process. And if you don't have a project template, you need to make a project template, like it'll save you hours. Or if you're too lazy to make your own project template, then you can just download one from my store, link below. Now, while organizing your media assets and using project templates are great, if you don't have a fast enough computer to play back your videos smoothly or to render your videos fast, then you're not gonna be able to edit your videos as fast as you'd like. So on that note, let's talk about the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15. You see that? That was a segue. I don't know what to tell you. This computer is fast, it's powerful, and it's fast. And thanks to the 10th gen Intel Core i9 processor and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 graphics card, I've actually been able to edit my videos a lot faster than what I did a couple months ago. Not only is this computer fast, but it has all the ports that I need, it has a couple USB-A ports, USB-C port, HDMI, Ethernet connectivity, and of course a headphone jack and mic jack. Also, if you haven't noticed, this laptop has a secondary display. So whenever I close the laptop, the secondary screen closes in on itself, and when I open up the laptop, it just boop, pops up. And it's actually a pretty cool way to expand your workspace. Like on my main screen, I have my timeline and my two source monitors. And on the secondary display, I have my project panel, my effects, my audio, and whatever else I wanna put. Like editing on a laptop, you don't really have so much space, but having that secondary display really helps expand that workspace. But honestly, all I care about is performance, and this laptop really does help me edit my videos fast. Huge thanks to Intel and Asus for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna check out the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15, then check out the link down below. 
All right, so now that our media assets are organized, we've opened up our Premiere Pro YouTube project template. I'm gonna show you more of my favorite tips and tricks to speed up your editing workflow. First, you gotta use keyboard shortcuts. Instead of clicking on the icons, keyboard shortcuts can save you minutes of editing and those minutes add up, like they really do. So learn as many keyboard shortcuts as you can. A few common ones are the JKL buttons, J is for rewind, K is for play, and L is for fast forward. Comma is to import your clip onto your timeline. V is your selection tool. C is your razor tool. Control D is for cross dissolve. And Control Alt D is your audio cross fade. Using keyboard shortcuts are a lot faster way than having to find the tool that you're looking for on the tool panel and then dragging in and then trying to move clips and do this and do that. Like just pushing a simple button on your keyboard just it saves you seconds, will save you minutes, and will save you hours. Well, Maybe not hours, but it'll save you lots of time. Another tip to speed up your editing workflow is to make a favorites folder in the effects panel. Instead of having to search for a specific effect, just save the ones that you use most in your favorites folder. And that way you can quickly access those effects and apply them to your clips. This is one of my favorite ways to cut down on the editing time because all those effects, like you don't have to type in and search, like they're all right there under one folder. Now the last and probably my best tip to speed up your editing workflow is to use custom presets. This saves you so much time because you don't have to color grade or EQ your audio every time you start a brand new project from scratch. You can just simply drag and drop your custom presets onto your clips and you're done just like that. This is actually pretty helpful for scenes that you film pretty often. Like for example, here in this office, I film here for about 80% of the time. So it makes sense to make a custom preset for this particular scene, a preset for the color grade and a preset for my audio. All right, here's what you do. To make a color grading preset, use Lumetri Color to do your color grade. Once done, right click on the effect and save as a preset. Done, that's it. And to make an audio preset, do the same thing. So add your EQ, add your compressor, right click, save, boom. That by far is my favorite way to expedite the entire editing process. And so you combine using custom presets with using keyboard shortcuts, with organizing your media assets like crazy, using Premiere Pro project templates, and using a fast computer. All of that, I'm able to edit my YouTube videos in about four hours. Or else your mattress is free! That doesn't make any sense. But that's it, that is how I've been able to edit my videos recently. I really love my workflow, really works well for me, and hopefully this video was helpful to you. Huge thanks to Intel and Asus for sponsoring this video. Again, if you wanna check out the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15, then check out the link down below. All right guys, well I'm out of here, but thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thumbs up, subs, and all those good things down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.